You and me are bored of regularities Living all the dreams, playing all the games And getting high on love They can chase us down, but we will always win Leading every dance, feeling every touch And getting high on love We're invincible So this is an everyday routine, Delicious and Daddy are best friends, they're little brothers, mm -hmm. <laughs> and they play constantly. And look at Diamond, come on baby! So these three play all day together. Okay, so when you have four dogs, don't expect to have anything nice for long, <laughs> because look at Diva. And look, I know, the grass is just water. Look at you getting me all wet. But you know what, who gives a fuck about designer clothes when you have these babies? We're invincible We're invincible Let's go! Now One, two, three, four, five, We're invincible. six Let's escape the gray And let the colors rain Turn the shit we do and our words into pure reality. Daddy, go get it. Cause you and me are <laughs> meant to be what they don't see. <laughs> Never feeling wrong, cause we don't belong in getting high enough. So, this is our brand new fish tank, it's our Barbie Dream tank. All salt water. How many gallons? 340 gallons. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now Nate loves fish tanks. He had one in his room when we first met. Yep, full rig, full, <laughs> full everything. So this is, we just got this installed. We have a few fish in here. So it's going to be like crazy coral in a whole world soon. So yeah. it's exciting. And the dog can't wait. Like staring at him. Look at his little smile. Oh, look at those teeth. Why are your teeth better than mine? I know, right? You have whiter teeth than I do, dude. Hmm. Are they fake? Did you get your teeth though? Who's your daddy? <laughs> What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, this is probably one of the most exciting videos I'm going to film this year. I'm pretty excited about it. <laughs> so today we are going to unveil the Star Family Collection. Um, it is something that me and Nathan have been working on for a few months mm -hmm. and uh, we just showed a sneak peek a day or two on Snapchat and Instagram. Oh my god, the internet is going nuts. You know, we've just wanted to make something really special for like the fans because you know, you guys know so much about our lives, so we just wanted to give you a little piece of it, you know, so. Yeah, and I think, like, I haven't really collabed with really anyone but Manny for my brand. Mm -hmm. I'm very, like, I'm not against collaborations at all. I just want it to be very authentic, and I think that, I don't know, I wanted to do something really special with Nate and show our love and just let you guys know a different side of us. Even in this video, you're gonna see some things that we've never shown before, but um, I, I was sitting there and I was like, okay, Nate, who? should I collab with next? And we were throwing around some names of influencers. Oh, yeah, of course. And then I was just staring at him, and then the dogs, um, one of the dogs jumped into his lap, and he just went, <laughs> and I was like smiling, <laughs> so cute. And I was like, what if we did like a family collection? Yeah. And Nate was like, oh my God, that would be so cool. Mm -hmm. um, I wanna make my own colors, and let's do something to represent all the dogs. Yeah, yeah, it was always fun to like play around with the colors with you too anyway, so. Hell yeah. pretty exciting. So, when I announced this collaboration, we just gotta get this funny part out of the way, because you know the internet always wants to try it. There was a lot of people who were saying, how can Nathan know anything about makeup? You're not gonna collab with a YouTuber or a, a makeup artist? Let me tell you the tea. When you have lived with me since I started my brand, 
He went from knowing nothing about makeup to literally like everything probably that I know. Right, exactly. We live and breathe makeup, so it's kind of hard not to catch on to everything. You exactly. Know, so, it's... so the brand is literally like my entire life, mm -hmm. and it has become a really huge part of Nathan's life. So it was really cool to bring Nathan into the lab because that's where I spend a lot of my time creating. Mm -hmm. um, which there's a lot of you know a lot of people don't get to see that side of the creation. So mm -hmm. I said, hey Nate, you're gonna get to um, spend a few days in the lab with the whole. Schma uh, schma schmock? No, yeah, I don't know what it's called. Actually. Yeah, the mask and the the, the medical outfit. You yeah. have to, of course, be very sanitary in the makeup labs. Oh, yeah, very. It's very strict. Yes. So we um so I took Nathan there and we and you know we, we had a, like a brainstorm of like okay let's create six brand new liquid lipsticks that represent me him and the dog. So we split our uh, chores in half. Yes, we did. I created three. He created three. But I said, hey Nate, I want you to make a Nathan lipstick. Like I want to wear Nathan on my mouth. Right. Do you? <laughs> you asked me, you know, what was like your favorite looks and stuff like that. And I always liked like the neon and cool colors. But I always liked the nude lips. They always just look nice and flow yeah. really well with like your foundation and the the highlight. He's coming for my gig. So, yeah. <laughs> So, so uh, yeah, I said so. Make a color, of course, that is not really that similar to another shade. Yeah, yeah. Just so we looked you. through the vault. Oh, I had to look through the vault. There's so many now. So I asked Nathan, like, hey, what is your like dream color to make for you know, obviously everyone out there to wear and me. Right, and I was just thinking, like a terracotta nude. There was not, I didn't really see much of that color in there too much of the nude, yeah. so I was like, <laughs> I think you guys need that one. I am actually gonna just ruin the surprise, and I'm wearing Nathan right now on my lips. Of course, we're gonna unveil all the colors in a second. I was like, I thought that looked familiar. <laughs> You're like, bitch, that's my color. Yes, I am wearing Nathan on my mouth today. It feels good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very silky. Right. So let's break down our collection. So first things first, the Velour Liquid Lip box set comes like this. Bam! This is the Barbie house and that's what I'm calling it. This yeah. literally represents our house. Our entire house is pink. Now when I met you, you knew everything was gonna be pink, right? Yeah. I mean, I figured as much. You don't care. No. I actually don't mind the color pink, so. It's fun. Yeah. So, our entire house looks like um, inside of a cupcake, so we wanted to represent that with this, and this definitely uh, is a tea. De definitely does it pretty well. So. Yes. This collection will be launching on... October 21st. Yes, it will be launching at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, our normal time, which is 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and if you don't know your time zone, baby, you better Google it. All right, so inside the house, let's open her up. Now, first things first, before we show the colors, inside there are me and Nathan's personal signatures and all four of our dog's paws. Yes, they are real. <laughs> now, this picture, look at me with my pink hair. Now, for those of you who do not know, makeup takes uh, like months to make, like the production of the packaging and everything, yes. so we took this a few months ago and we also recreated it recently. So, besides that, Let's get to the damn shades. Everyone's like, let's go. Right, I'm ready to see that. Right. <laughs> so here are all the colors. We're gonna go from left to right and then the bottom. So first up we have Nathan's color, of course. You guys see it's on my mouth. Mm -hmm. So there is this beautiful warm toned peachy nude. I love this color. Definitely something that I did not have already. So I'm so happy with this color. When, we, when he was like, hey, I think this is the final out, I put it on and I was like, Yes. <laughs> Nate's little nickname for me and what a lot of you guys have called me is the wifey. We get asked if we're getting married every single day. <laughs> yes, we do. Maybe soon, maybe one day. So wifey is a gorgeous, darker red. It's like unicorn blood's uh, stepsister. Red rum. Yeah, it's like yeah, unicorn it's like red, red rum. Mixed together, like, yeah. yeah. It's like a hybrid. I love this red. It is definitely more of like a dark brick, sexy red. Mm -hmm. Definitely darker than red rum, but lighter than unicorn blood. Now, we are going to move on to the dogs. So when we sat here and thought about all the shades, we thought about like the dog's entire history. My first two dogs, Diva and Diamond, um, I had before me and Nate ever started dating, and then Delicious and Daddy. Yeah, we got them when we first started dating. So about six, seven months in, we got Delicious, and yeah. he was he was the cutest little thing ever. <laughs> it's crazy too because he was like almost brown before he turned black, which was like the craziest thing. Yeah, and he then had like a really light but kind of dark. 
Almost like a grizzly bear. Yeah, he really did look like a little grizzly. Yeah. Bear. Okay, so we're gonna talk about the dogs, you guys, yes. and then we're gonna swatch. Well, no, we'll go down each color and we'll talk about yeah. um, all the dogs. So first up is Diva. Diva has been every color of the rainbow. Now I got Diva, you guys, eight years ago. Long time ago. Which is nuts. So yeah. I never. So growing up, I always had cats. Nate has had I've, cats. Yeah, I've had three, four cats plus dogs. You know, we've had birds. <laughs> Right. Everything. A yeah. lot of animals. Yes, so yeah. I used to have a lot of cats when I was growing up at my grandma's house and when I, well, not to be dark, but one of my cats from three years old to 14 years old, I had to put down, which yeah. is so horrible. I know oh, a lot yeah. of you out there can relate and it I broke can. my heart oh, yeah, and I like I vowed can. to never get animals again, right? Yeah, it sucks. Fast forward to um, when I used to uh, sing and go on tour. I was on Warp Tour actually, 2009, and we were in Indianapolis. We were out in like the country, like just seeing the city. We had a day off and there was like this random like pet farm in the middle of nowhere. Oh wow. And we went there and I was like, you know what? It might be time to get an animal. Like yeah. I really want a dog. I never had dogs growing up, but they're so loving and caring and amazing. And yeah. I just like, I was ready at that time in my life to get a dog. So insert diva. Now all the dogs are Pomeranians, except Diva. I'm sure a lot of you were like, "Why is Diva like the jumbo version of yeah, them? Yeah, yeah. And why does his face longer? Um, Points now. Yeah. yeah. So Diva is actually um, he has fox blood in him as well as full Pomeranian. So yeah. he is very unique. And at yes. first, I didn't believe the guy. He said, "Well, a fox had sex with a dog, and maybe he right, lied to fox, me." <laughs> right. The fox came into like their barn or whatever where they had all their palms, and you know, yeah. He just you know. He so I don't know a, if the guy was lying. To me. Every vet is like, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. And they never say he's anything else. Mm -hmm. um, so if fox sperm doesn't work with dogs, let me know in the comment section below. Right. Now, let's talk about Diva Shade. Now, we know I have a hot, uh, hot pink in this brand. Prom Night, this is Prom Night's Barbie sister. It is a more warmer pink, and if you look closely at the swatch and in the bottle, it has gold metallic like in it. Sparkle. It's so pretty, huh? I can see it really close up. Yes, I love the shade. It is so stunning. Diva used to be pink. That was his signature mm -hmm. color, and when we did him pink, he blew up all over the internet. Like, That's so cool. People used to write articles about it, and people would go crazy about um, me coloring the dog. Everybody has their... Everyone has their opinion. Yeah. The dye is not dye, it it's, is basically vegetables. It is a vegan formula that coats the hair. Kind of like this. Yeah. This is actually vegan dye. You're right. I, could, li is, I yeah. could lick his hair. Right, and the thing is, <laughs> the dogs think it's like shampoo. It's like you're washing the dog with shampoo, and they don't even know. But there's know. a lot of misconceptions. Yeah, People just think it's like bleach or chemicals. Or you don't no put it in chemicals. anybody's eyes or mouth or anything like that. That's. Oh, but anyway, so long, long story short, yeah. I, I always received um, a lot of crazy yeah. stuff about my dogs. I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of old pictures of them. We're gonna throw up a few. So Diva used to be pink. He's been spotted, as you yes. see in this picture. And he's done a lot of stuff. So I thought that would represent him perfectly. Now, next shade is Diamond. Yes. Diamond is, uh, we call her Miss Thing in this house. She runs the house. She does. Now, Diamond uh, is a pure white Pomeranian, toy that, palm. Yeah, yeah, toy palm. Yeah. She is a show dog, just like Delicious and Daddy. And Diamond used to be Periwinkle, and mm -hmm. I used to uh, I kind of be inspired by like aliens and extraterrestrials and like yeah, Sailor Moon. That's so cool. And there is this famous picture of Diamond. Let's throw it up right here of her being Periwinkle, and she has a little bendy on her head. Yeah, she has a little. People so cute. thought. It was the craziest shit. I bet. It was I, a tiny sticker that literally when I, like, actually weighed nothing. When I saw it, I was like, what the hell, this is sick. <laughs> it wasn't heavy, it was like air. Yeah, Did, yeah, she didn't even like, know it was on there. Yeah, no, they People really light. thought, you know how people are. Yeah. Animals are not toys. Um, I know, they're my family. I know. But anyway, you guys, so this famous picture of Diamond went viral all over the internet, and I thought, you know what, what better way to match that shade? I don't have a periwinkle color in my yeah. collection at all. It's a really pretty color. And I really love how it looks with the baby pink. Yeah, it's cute. This is a little history lesson, everyone. So, Diamond, I got her a year later after Diva, mm -hmm. so she is now seven. Diamond has something called alopecia, which if anyone has watched Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, mm -hmm. Lisa Vanderpump's dog, Ziggy, I think that's his name? Sure. <laughs> Nate, don't watch TV. <laughs> okay, so Lisa Vanderpump's dog um, has alopecia as well, and she always puts sweaters on him. Yeah. I didn't know she had that, so imagine you guys, you have this um, dog, totally normal, and, and her health isn't um, affected, thank God. But no. 
Imagine, baby, three years in, yeah. what happened? All her hair started falling out. I was so freaked out. I was like, does she have cancer? Yeah, it Is was she skittish. dying? Does she have like some crazy skin disease? I had no idea. That's so crazy. Um, and one day there was like clumps of hair on the carpet and I was like so scared. So I took her to a dog dermatologist. Now, girl, back then when, when mama had no coin, that doctor was so much money, but Vet, I was like, vets in general are that, and especially like tests like that. It's so yeah, it's, it it's was so crazy. costly. So I took her to a dermatologist, yeah. and they diagnosed her with alopecia black. Actually, that's what it's called. He said there isn't like a hundred percent cure, but there's medicines you can give her to make the hair grow back. Right. And I'm like, oh my god, like I don't care how she looks, but. She's a dog, she wants she wants hair, she's gonna be cold. Right, right. They gave her some medicine, mm -hmm. and it was a certain type of medicine that's actually for human cancer patients. And a month later, white fuzz popped yep. up. And then months later, her hair all came back, mm -hmm. mostly. In her belly a lot, it's splotchy. In the back yeah. of her legs and her butt, yeah. um, it's splotchy, but Anyway, long story short, that's my dog's medical history. I'm sure a lot of you out there have seen alopecia dogs, or maybe you even have one. Let me know in the comment section down below. She's great. Yeah, she's 80% she, hair coming back yeah. versus to none is amazing. She's in full health. I haven't dyed her hair since all of it came back. Yeah. I feel like it's a, not that it's like a bad omen. The dye did nothing wrong to her. Obviously, no. we've dyed them all. I just always wanted to not ever yeah. fuck with it, because I feel like the it's bitch has been really, through enough. Right, it's just harder for her to grow her hair back, so it just it's harder for her to get rid of the pink. Exactly. That is why Diamond is uh, this color. That is her little history. She's the best thing ever. She runs the house. She has a little attitude. And Daddy's obsessed with her. Yes, he is. <laughs> what shade is next? So next shade we have here is Delicious. Yay! And Delicious, his little backstory is, you know, after like about a couple months of us dating, we, we were getting, you know, more and more serious. So we thought, you know, maybe we'd get a, another palm. Yeah, get another child. <laughs> yeah, a little baby palm. So uh, I've never really had baby Pomeranians and puppies, and I was really excited. So yeah. I was totally down to get a little baby palm. A lot of people always have the kind of stigma that Pomeranians yeah. are really yappy and crazy. Yeah, they do. And mine, Nate was surprised because Diva and Diamond were like military, like, oh. Yeah, they were really, because I worked in a pet store, so I dealt with a lot of different types of dogs, yeah. and they were never really the, my fondest breed of breeds. So, you but know. But mine are almost yeah, like human. They're, exactly, they're, they're when different. I got here, and <laughs> I love the dogs. So we got delicious, and we wanted to get uh, like the opposite of diamonds. So we asked each other, what color do we want to get? And we wanted a pure black one. So yeah. when we found delicious, he was so cute. We're going to throw up some baby pictures of him right yes, now. Look, at, so look how tiny he used to be. He used to fit in the little palm of our hands. Uh -huh. And he was he had so... He biggest little head, though. Too. He had a big forehead, and then he, he finally so grew cute. into his body. Yep. But um, as so at the time, when Nate first moved to LA after we had been dating for like nine months, 10, nine, 10 months, right? Something like that, yeah. Uh, so before the house we live in now that we bought, I lived in another smaller home, but it had a lot of stairs. It was like this three level, really cool, like, like we used to call it the tree house. Yeah, yeah. Hanging on the side of a mountain mm -hmm. and had a bunch of stairs. So the, um, when the dogs were little, you guys, they were freaked out of the yeah, stairs. But <laughs> Delicious, him being so so tiny, it was really hard for him. He, he was always whining every time we got to the stairs. He would never actually go down the stairs. Yeah, he would cry. Yeah, he would cry, <laughs> he would cry, just like a little baby. But his limbs started to grow a little bit and yeah. Nate taught him how to walk. It yeah. was the cutest thing ever. After watching that, I was like, you know what? Maybe we will adopt a baby. Just kidding. <laughs> it was really adorable the way they like bonded and yeah, to show him how to walk down the stairs. He couldn't do it. So. It was really cute. Yeah. So that you know, delicious has a special place in our heart. So when we were thinking of making the color, we all know I already have a pitch black color right. called Weirdo. So that was out of the picture. That was already out of the picture. So we thought, okay, what else? And then Nate reminded me that when delicious was so here's the thing, you guys. Pomeranians have two coats. Yes. Not four. Two coats, and when they're babies, they go through like the puppy uglies, is what Pomeranian yeah, they, like, breeders call shed them. They their shed their first baby fur that they have. Yeah. So when his first started to grow in, it was mixed of like like that grizzly like bear chocolate. Light, yeah, it was like dark. a light. It was like a dark chocolate, but it was like so fuzzy, it almost looked like it was tan. Or, I can't. You know what I'm talking. I can't remember. <laughs> 
It's hard to explain it. It was weird. Basically, it looked like this color. Yeah, it really did. And we thought, you know what? We gotta give an homage to his, uh, it's like when a baby's eyes turn colors, when it's like green and then they turn hazel when they grow mm -hmm. up. That's kind of what happened to his hair. Now, Delicious's personality, he, he's he, the mouthy one. Yeah, he's, he's the peppy little spit fuck. When anyone comes up to the door, if there's a package about to be delivered, or the mailman's here, or someone's walking, he is the alarm. He's gonna let you know. Let's move on to the sixth and final color. <sighs> Obviously this was gonna be a little bump in the road because we already have a shade called Daddy. Yes, we do. Now y'all know the top selling Manny MUA Jeffree Star Cosmetics collaboration. Shade Daddy, uh, which is almost sold out. So if you want it, don't sleep on it. <laughs> now, we thought, well, he is the youngest. Yes, and he is. And he is the baby, he so. He is the baby still. Yep, yeah, so we wanted to name the shade Baby Daddy. <laughs> Works perfect. I think it's perfect. Now, Daddy is a wolf sable Pomeranian. Yes, he is very. He has that long, beautiful hair. Yeah. It almost looks like a wig. Yeah, okay. he has nicer hair than everybody in this house, I feel like. <laughs> hey. <laughs> he has the most beautiful coat yeah. when he plays in the yard and it's just flowing in the wind. He look, yeah, he, it's, I get so a little it's, it's so majestic. It's majestic. Very. So this is a more of like a nude caramel. Very it's nude. really rich and mm. it's soft. It's almost like a diet posh spice, but a little more warm toned in there. Daddy is Nathan's, that's Nathan's kid. He's like my, my star child. Tell everyone why. When Daddy was a puppy, I would sleep with him downstairs on the couch almost every night. So we would sleep let together me, let me tell you why. every single night. Let me tell you why. Because our bed is, is ginormous. It's too big. It's literally eight feet by 10 feet for a custom little, mattress. For a little baby palm is too big. So we do have stairs that go up to our bed. Yes. All the dogs sleep with us, daddy including now, because he's longer, yes. he has longer arm, <laughs> arms and limbs now. But all three dogs are accustomed to sleeping in our bed. Yeah. So when daddy was little, he was not about the um, no, life upstairs. It was too, yeah. he couldn't get up the stairs. No, yeah, and then he would cry on the floor and you know, it's, it's it's really like having a, a, a little baby. So yeah. it's like, you know. So if we would go to sleep, he would be, cry. And I know a lot of people are gonna be like, well, you have to crate train them and yes. you have to do it. Girl, let us raise our dogs how we wanna raise our dogs. Yeah, I mean, we did it in the <laughs> same version. I just slept on the couch and it was much closer to the floor, much closer to him yeah. and he was a lot more calm and could go right to sleep and he wouldn't cry and keep <laughs> us up at night. But you know, in turn, he yeah. is now obsessed with Nate. Yes. He does Everywhere not. Nate walks. He follows me. He was already in this room while we have been filming this entire video until right now we took a little water break. Yes. And he's probably right outside the door. He most certainly probably is. Let's go grab him. You want me to? Yeah. All right. He's a little sleepy. Oh, look at that hair. Hi, honey. Look sleepy. at him. He is like, what are all these lights? Yeah, he's like, it's bright in here, Dad. Doesn't he look grumpy? Look at him. He is so grumpy. He's like, Dad. He don't like all the lights. He doesn't like all the lights, and he's not a big person on being held. He likes being in full control. <laughs> with Daddy, that, I mean. Well, yeah. and Nate sometimes. Um, Daddy hates being held high. The other yeah. dogs don't care. You can cradle oh, them like infants. He has a little attitude about it. Yeah. When he's on the ground, though, he's always all smiles. Yeah. But um, I think with 10 beauty lights, he's like, girl. And he just woke up. I think <laughs> I just woke him up for sure. But daddy has the best hair on earth. Okay, so I'm sure everyone is gonna be asking, what is the price for the house? So you get all six full-size liquid lipsticks in this beautiful packaging for $75. You save a lot of money buying them all together. But yes. we wanna note that you can also buy all six shades individually individually um of course for the standard 18 dollars price so if you only want a few of the colors you can definitely do that so besides that you guys there are a few more products that we wanted to create you know we can't just do a lipstick we yeah. had to do some more yeah we had um, to do you know i love lip scrubs so i was like hey let's make a few lip scrubs um let's let's get one going so the velour lip scrubs you guys they of course are vegan they are edible they are infused with the vitamin e and aloe vera um, you never used anything on your lips, huh, before? No, no, I never, I never really did, did anything. But now lip scrubs, you have a daddy hair on you. Do I? I'm gonna <laughs> set him down. I think okay. it's coming up on me. All right, so let's talk about our flavors, you guys. Let's unbox. <clears throat> so I was really excited to create my dream flavor, so I, I mean, I think we're both pretty obsessed with this flavor, but me We're more obsessed so. with breakfast food. Yeah, so, so we, Nathan goes, Pancakes and syrup, we yeah. gotta do it. I'm all about that breakfast food, baby. Listen, when I tell you this is identical to 
like Cracker Barrel. That's my favorite spot in Michigan to go eat breakfast. Yeah. Cracker Barrel pancakes in your mouth. This is it. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm like, mm, give me that. No, you're good. It is so yummy. It's like maple syrup and like dough is just melting in your mouth. It is so yummy. And I was like, damn, that's a really good idea. That and really so good. unique from my usual um, type of flavors. Yeah. So, pancakes and syrup, baby. Now, we'll talk about my flavor that I just made. Mm -hmm. uh, now, this one, you guys, it is very Jeffrey. It's very me, you know, I'm obsessed with sweets and sugars. Oh, yeah. So I thought, okay, what kind of flavor do I wanna make? And mine is, drum roll, peach popsicle. Oh, so good. It is so yummy and delicious, and I'm obsessed with it. It tastes so good. I might have this for dinner later. Yeah. So of course, you know, I had to do the baby orange sugar yeah. if you're a fan of anything peach this is like a that is like classic peach right there it is it's like a, um, almost like a peach jolly rancher on your tongue just melting away mm. Mm. all right you guys our final product is a blinding skin frost and okay. yes i am wearing it today i'm sure a lot of you are like what the hell's on your cheeks mm -hmm. this is a beautiful it's like a pink purple icy hybrid like they just had a baby look at that color oh blinding so me and nate went to the lab that makes my highlighters mm -hmm. And we laid out all the shades I already had and Nate was like, well, my favorite is Princess Cut. And I was like, okay, well, let's make a Nathan version of that color. And you love pinks and purples on me, right? Mm -hmm. I yeah, think. No, they're, they're very pretty. I like <laughs> the way they pop. It's mm -hmm. like fluorescent. Yeah. So we thought, what do we name it? We had so many names. I'm like, do I just name it Nathan? Do I name it? I don't know. So it was floating around all over the internet when we first started filming, people combined our names and uh, and kept calling us Nefri, which yeah. I thought was so funny. I was like, I heard somebody yell at one time and I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? Like, so, that is so genius. It's was, it, We died. Yeah, so, it was so funny. We have been called so many nicknames and Nefri was such a big one. Yeah, I was like, I heard somebody yell it at me one time and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, that's so cool. So when we thought about this project, I was like, okay, me and Nathan have been telling our relationship and our story online now for, oh, I mean, oh, like two years now. Yeah, over. And I looked on my channel and me and Nathan, all the reviews we've done together and the lifestyle videos and the traveling, our videos have like 200, like over 200 million views. And I was like, oh my God, this wow. is crazy. It's nuts, right? That's crazy. A I lot of fucking that. views, baby. So I thought, you know what? We're gonna do it now for you. You guys have called us that for a while now. It had, so to, cool. it had to be it. It did. So of course, this is the color on my cheeks. I'm gonna, uh, let's, we just watch it on you. Yeah, let's do it. Nathan wore it for the photo shoot. It looked so cool on him. It, it was did. popping. You look like a Ken doll with it. Well, yeah, I, I actually could I actually agree with you on that. <laughs> Literally, ready for this? So here's a, here's a clean brush, covered. Wow. Like, bam, right? So of course, you can tap off if you want or go directly on. Turn this way, baby. There you go. Let's swatch Nefri on my baby. Look at that. Ooh! It's like a pinky purple diamond just landed on your fucking face. It did not need that many times, but I like to really finesse it into the skin so it just like lives and breathes with you. Oh, that's blinding. Come on, plastic fantastic. Right? <laughs> and of course, the retail price for the skin frost is our normal $29. I just want to add more to my skin. Is that bad? Look at my nose. I'm like, mm. <laughs> that is the entire collection. Yes, it is. Oh, I cannot believe it. It's finally out. We've been working on this for months. It's all coming together. So this is like our first real baby. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> so I hope you guys love the collection. Sound off below. What are your favorite colors? What are you dying for? Um, and yeah, let us know all your feedback. I hope you guys love this. We put so much love and effort into this, yeah, and I'm really, really proud. Um, I'm proud of us, baby. Yeah, I'm proud of you. We've uh, come a long way from him hitting me in the DMs. It's been an amazing journey so far, and thank yeah. you guys for watching us, being involved in our relationship, and just supporting two people that never knew they could find love or this scenario, and we found each other. Yeah, baby. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and don't forget this entire collection will be launching on Jeffree Star Cosmetics on October 21st at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so you can get the entire collection, and we may even have a few secret pieces of merch dropping. Yeah, maybe. You'll have to find out. <laughs> you ready to roll? Yeah, I'm ready to roll, baby. You ready to go test out some more mascara? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you on the next one. Mwah. See you guys.